Okay, hello and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ryan Embry, and I am the brand ambassador here at Travel Media Group. I want to first thank everyone for taking the time to join me on this webinar this afternoon. Very excited about this presentation, share it with you all. Now, at the end of the webinar, I will be providing my direct contact information in case you had any follow up questions with the content that I'm going to be sharing today. But you can also use that chat feature, which is located right there in your toolbar. Just type any sort of questions or feedback you might have. I will be responding to those questions personally following the conclusion of today's webinar. Also, be on the lookout since today's presentation is going to feature several interactive polls and would absolutely love your participation in them. So let's get started and learn how to discover revenue opportunity by getting to know your hotel guest a little better. Now, in today's hotel industry, there are literally dozens of different ways you can identify a guest that stays at your property. And most of the time, a guest is gonna fall under a combination of these categories that you see on the screen here. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the 10 most common guest types and how they interact with one another and how it impacts your occupancy. Now the first guest type is critical for every hotel to identify and that is return guest versus your first time guest. And in order to successfully run your hotel, you need a healthy balance of both of these. In fact, getting to know this type of guest can really help you identify potential gaps in either your sales and marketing or your operations and customer service for your property. Think about it. If you're not seeing a lot of return guests to your hotel, this could signal that the experience that, they, that travelers are having at your hotel as the first time is not meeting their expectation. This could identify an issue with your operations and customer service that you're providing to those travelers. Now, if you're seeing a majority of your occupancy as return guests, this could signal that your sales and marketing efforts are not reaching far enough to generate new and first-time guests to the hotel. Now, with that being said, I'm curious to know the mix among the hotels that we have on the call today. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and launch our very first poll question. And it's going to have to do with these two different guest types. And it asks, what percentage of your hotel's occupancy is made up of first-time guests? So this is the first time that they're staying at your property, not a return guest. Now go ahead and wait till you find that toolbar there. Okay, just give you a couple more seconds and I'll go ahead and share these results. Okay, awesome. So let me go ahead and share what we had. And it looks like about uh, a majority of half of your guests at your hotel are first time. So again, that healthy balance, which we really like to see. So let's move on to our next traveler type, and that is advanced bookers versus last minute bookers, an extremely important guest type to know when forecasting your occupancy and nightly availability. Figuring out your hotel's mix of advanced bookers and last minute bookers can also tell you a lot about your hotel and what marketing strategy is going to be a, a good fit for the property. For example, location can play a big part in the number of last minute travelers at your hotel if your property is positioned right off the highway. If your hotel is near a conference center or arena, your property might experience more advanced bookings. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and launch our second poll of the day, which has to do with advanced bookers versus last minute bookers. So what percentage of your hotel's reservations are booked in advance? And for this poll, we'll go ahead and say three days or more. So how many of those walk-ins are you having per day versus maybe how many of those online bookings or advanced bookers? Okay, it looks like we're getting a lot of interaction here. So just couple, waiting a couple more seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share the results. This one is a lot closer. So uh, there's actually most or about half of 
the hotels are experiencing um, advanced bookings, which you would imagine being uh, that you know guests now more than ever are using online tools to make those reservations. So as we move on, uh, let's talk about one of the most notable guest identities, especially of the last decade in the industry, OTA bookings versus direct bookings. And this battle of guest types is vital to every property because of the massive impact that it has on your hotel's bottom line. And although online travel agencies like Expedia and Booking.com have multi-million dollar marketing campaigns, hotels are now starting to fight back with initiatives like vanity websites, social media, um, to combat and lower these high commissioned OTA bookings at their hotels. So according to the most recent data, OTA bookings on average are making up about 60 to 65% of bookings at the property level. Let's go ahead and see if that holds true with the hotels on this call. So I'll go ahead and launch a poll here asking uh, that question that we're probably looking at every day. What percentage of your hotel's reservations are coming from OTA bookings? So that would be Expedia. You got your booking.com, hotels.com. Um, plenty of OTAs out there. So we'll go ahead and give everyone the opportunity to engage in that. All right, let me go ahead and share. Uh, so again, very, very close, but it looks like uh, the most is about half of your reservation. So again, um, hotels are doing a great job of trying to find ways for travelers to book direct rather than go through those OTA bookings. Now for the final guest type, we're gonna look at uh, today, it's really broken into four distinct traveler categories. Um, that's leisure, business, special event, and extended stay travelers. And it's identifying and organizing your traveler mix into these categories, which can serve as a blueprint for your hotel's overall marketing strategy. Now, every traveler in each one of these four categories is looking for something different uh, from your hotel. So whether that's a leisure traveler looking for a family-friendly location to relax and play, a business traveler looking for a quiet workspace, um, a place to stay for an out-of-town concert or special event, or a place to even live for a week or maybe multiple weeks uh, out on a family holiday. So the question is, how do you make sure all of your current guest needs are being met while at the same time letting future travelers maybe in a different guest category, one of these four, know that their needs can be met as well at the property. Well, before we answer that in the second part of the webinar, I'm gonna launch one of our final polls um, asking really what of these four, what type of traveler would you like to see more of at your specific property? And for this poll, you can answer multiple different uh, traveler types. So again, this could really have to deal with your location, um, how close you are to arenas, um, special events if you're extended stay hotel. Okay, getting a lot of engagement in this one. All right, go ahead and share that. Looks like almost 90% of the hotels on this call are looking for some way to increase that business traveler. So uh, that's actually what we're going to be doing in the next part of this webinar is talking about each one of these traveler segments and how we can really focus in on that. So again, the question remains, how do we balance every single type of guest in our hotel marketing efforts all simultaneously? Capitalizing on those segments that we may not be reaching effectively, but also strengthening the segments that we know are already a major percentage of our occupancy. And like I said before, today we're gonna to share some examples on how to just do that. So for this example, we take a property that is approximately 79% occupied per year. To the right, you can see the breakdown by guest type. The objective of this exercise is to increase bookings across all of these traveler types and help a, a, this hotel achieve its maximum revenue potential. So let's learn how our team at Travel Media Group would help this hotel increase the percentage of occupancy for each guest segment. So as we look at the four distinct traveler types here, we're gonna go ahead and start 
with business travelers, which we heard on this call is one that we're really looking to focus in on. One way our team does this is really by highlighting the hotel's amenities that would be appealing to business travelers on social media. The first example you see is actually our team highlighting the hotel's meeting space with an embedded link to book their event space or even book their room. Now, if, you're ho if you are a hotel out there and you do not have a physical meeting space or business center on the property, this is where you utilize local uh, places and businesses that act as meeting spaces or conference centers in your area. You, you can offer group rates for business travelers that are attending these conferences. And lastly, you want to make sure that you're mentioning keywords pertaining to business travel in your online review responses. Google notices when you utilize these keywords and phrases and will start associating your specific hotel when travelers are completing searches on Google like hotel with Wi-Fi or hotels near the conference center. So making sure that you're putting those keywords like meeting space, business center, Wi-Fi in your review responses. As we look at special events guests, we see a much smaller percentage of occupancy per year for this specific hotel. Now, in order to increase the number of special event travelers that stay at the hotel, we need to get out and see what events are actually going on in the area. Our team at Travel Media Group does a great job of finding local events in your area and promoting them across all, uh, all of your social media platforms. You also want to get creative when advertising these local events, plan a giveaway, or run a social media competition in order to increase followers and likes. You can also offer free transportation to and from a specific event, create unique packages that might be centered around that event. And lastly, again, we want to be sure to also include keywords and information that these event goers are going to find useful in your review responses. For example, how far away your hotel might be from the event or, ve event or venue where the event's going on. Now, let's shift gears to the largest percentage of occupancy for this hotel, and that's leisure travel. Now, although leisure travelers already make up almost half of this hotel's occupancy, we want our hotel partners at Travel Media Group to be hungry for even more. Because it's our philosophy, it is just as important to capitalize and grow existing revenue streams as it is to create and produce new ones. So for this hotel, our team at Travel Media Group really wants to promote a combination of both family-friendly local activities, but also serene and relaxing imagery like a quiet pool or perhaps uh, some art or beautiful lobby that you might have. Families tend to be a little bit more budget conscious uh, when searching for hotels as well. So including review response keywords like complimentary breakfast or breakfast included in your stay could put you at an advantage against local competition when it comes to leisure travel. And finally, let's take a look at extended stay travelers. Now, an extended stay really could be defined very distinctly, distinctly between two different hotels. Some extended stay hotels could be just looking to increase the number of stays that are one week or longer at their property, while others could just be looking to increase the average number of nights per guest if you're not necessarily a extended stay hotel. But no matter what your objective, our team at Travel Media Group leverages social media to attract local groups, sports teams, companies to the property, and when you do have a group stay at your hotel for an extended stay, ask them to become an advocate for your hotel. Create a testimonial with multiple different types of groups that you can share with other groups in the future that are considering your hotel for their lodging needs. Also, be sure to share all extended stay amenities, like if your hotel has laundry facility, a fitness center, Again, if you don't physically have these amenities on the property, suggest local businesses and create those partnerships for your guests to utilize. Lastly, it's extremely important to have competitive review scores and ranking for your hotel online. Meeting planners and corporate bookers 
are using these reputation scores and basing their booking decisions by determining what hotel is going to offer the best value and experience for the attendees or employees that they're booking for. So that is extremely uh, important to have competitive online review scores when it comes to extended, increasing extended stay travel. Next, let's take a look at the hotel's mix of OTA bookings in comparison to those direct bookings that they are receiving. And as you can see, again, just like the average, about uh, more than half of their occupancy is coming through these OTA bookings. Now, at Travel Media Group, one of our biggest goals for our hotel partners is really to decrease the number of OTA bookings and convert them to direct bookings. We want to see an increase in direct bookings. But we also understand that in today's hotel landscape, OTAs are going to be a part of a, a hotel's revenue and booking stream. With that being the case, you need to know your hotel's online reputation for each individual OTA site. Take this example, if you're a 4.5 star rating on TripAdvisor, but you're only a three star rating on Booking.com, that's gonna impact the number of bookings that you're seeing from that specific site. The same is true with Expedia, Hotels.com, Orbitz, which all have their own online review score for your individual property. Now, we provide our hotel partners with reputation tracking and alerts to follow not only their hotel's reputation scores and rankings, but the ratings of, their local, of, of your local competition to ensure that your hotel is outperforming your competitors on every OTA site online so that when guests do go to those OTA sites, they're choosing your hotel over the hotel across the street. Now let's switch our attention to this hotel's direct booking travelers. Hotels are always looking for new ways to generate more direct bookings. At Travel Media Group, we build both independent and franchise vanity hotel websites as a channel for, hot for travelers to book direct with the hotel. Be sure to optimize all of your hotel social media profiles by adding book now buttons, but also posts that are pushing your followers to a direct booking path. And finally, track your social following, like you can see in the, uh, the bottom here, ensuring that the content that you are pushing out on social media will, is not just being seen, but it's growing your hotel's online reach. That way, you can influence your followers to book direct instead of going through that OTA. Now let's take a look at this hotel's ratio of return guests to first time guests. Remember, we want a healthy balance of both, which we saw in the poll, to confirm both our operations and sales and marketing teams are running efficiently and effectively. So let's start with return guests who actually were once categorized as first time guests and they've come back to give you some more business. We want to make sure that keeps happening. So how do we do that? Well, the first way is to leverage our brand's loyalty program, which also helps us promote future direct bookings, increasing two guest types, different types of guests simultaneously. Now, if you're on this call and you're not a branded hotel, we see a lot of independent properties and work with them. Create and promote a return guest special. You can do this either through your social media channels or through other marketing efforts like your website. Next, ask your existing return guests for their online feedback. They support your hotel by giving you business time and time again. Why not have them support your business by telling their story online? Here at Travel Media Group, we have a program that influences both return guests and first time guests alike to leave their positive feedback on sites like Google and TripAdvisor. And lastly, as a review response tip, remember, whether it's a positive or a negative review, be sure to always invite your guests back for a return stay. Although they might not always take you up on your offer, we want to always encourage return business to the property. Now, what about those first time guests who haven't stayed at your hotel before and are really unsure about what to expect about the type of experience they're gonna have? How do we increase the number of first time guests to your hotel? Well, this type of guest, like we talked about, usually falls on the shoulders of your sales and marketing efforts. 
first time guest look for peace of mind when making a new purchasing or booking decision. And there is no greater peace of mind than reading other first time travelers feedback uh, about their experience at your hotel. So make sure you're encouraging your current first time guests to leave that online, that positive online feedback about their experience. This is going to help influence other first time guests moving forward. Now, another effective way to penetrate new markets is by using social media ad spend on platforms like Facebook and Instagram. All of our social media solutions at Travel Media Group include ad spend because we know the importance of it. And that ad spend helps target new guests to help fill those unoccupied rooms. And lastly, as a review response tip, we want to leverage negative online reviews by viewing them as an opportunity to do a couple things. Explain hotel policies, we can showcase your team's problem solving abilities, and set expectations for other potential first time guests that might be doing research about your property online. Again, all, all in an effort to give confidence and peace of mind to the other first time travelers looking to make a booking decision at your hotel. So let's explore the final pair of traveler segments that we're going to talk about today, and that's advanced bookers and last minute bookers. The rise of advanced bookers in the industry really goes hand in hand uh, with the ex exponential growth of online bookings over the past decade. Travelers are planning farther out than ever before and using more information than ever to make their booking decisions. Hotels need to keep this in mind when planning on how to increase the number of advanced bookings at their property. This takes careful social media planning um, when trying to predict when travelers might be looking to book at the property. We provide our, our partners at Travel Media Group with a social media content calendar that shows when posts are going out and what content is being posted. We promote local events, holidays, and other important dates when your hotel might be busy or slower times when you're looking just for some extra room nights or extra occupancy. You also want to be very aware of what travelers are saying about your property today so that you can make improvements for future travelers of tomorrow. Our sentiment analysis through Travel Media Group's Respond and Resolve solution gives you real-time data on potential issues that are being mentioned at, in your hotel online reviews today. And when you go and identify these issues and you fix them, you wanna be sure to mention that to your customers, giving future travelers peace of mind about their booking decisions that they have in advance. And lastly, be sure that your hotel is generating positive reviews on a consistent basis due to the fact that these advanced bookers are going to be visiting your hotel review sites multiple times during their research. Now, the last and final traveler type we're going to discuss today is the last minute traveler. For years, hotels were using solutions like billboards and coupon guidebooks to attract these type of travelers to their property. And 2019, even these last minute travelers are still making their booking decision based on information that they find online. They're on road trips, looking at TripAdvisor and Google reviews on their mobile devices. They're comparing cost and value. That is why it's absolutely critical to maintain five star reviews on the first page of these sites at all times. Because we don't know when these travelers are looking, but when they do, they're looking to make a quick uh, booking decision. You also can utilize social media promote last minute deals and walk-in special, specials for unfilled rooms. And finally, as a tip, make sure that all of your reviews are responded to in a very timely manner. Since again, these last minute travelers, they're basing their booking decisions at a moment's notice. So as we look at this example as a whole, it's not just about focusing and concentrating on just one or two of these, these traveler types. It's about concentrating on all of these guest types simultaneously. And it's the combination of impacting all of these segments by as just as one or 2% that can raise your occupancy by double digits. 
as digital marketing experts, we understand the importance of reaching and converting all traveler types, not just concentrating on one or two. And all of the examples that you saw today are images and still shots from Travel Media Group's digital marketing solutions. So for those out there on this call that feel that they're missing out on maximizing on either one or two or even more of these traveler categories, let us help you. This is our special specialty. We have professional tools that can capture, help you capture more travelers. So before I launch our final poll of the, of the day, I have some a, a very exciting announcement. Um, as mentioned, all of our social media solutions that we have, that we talked about today, include a monthly amount of ad spend. Uh, for a limited time special, we are doing a double your ad spend uh, for your social media account. So these are for new customers that aren't working with us uh, that are looking to really make an impact in the winter months, increase those traveler types going into 2020. So this is the first time we've launched this. And we're very excited uh, about this new uh, exclusive special. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and launch our final poll, which asks, would you like a consultation from one of our digital media specialists uh, to reach out to you um, to help uh, give you a consultation to increase uh, occupancy? So I'll go ahead and give everyone an opportunity to find that toolbar there. And for those uh, that came in a little bit later during the presentation, I will be sending out a recording uh, of, of today's presentation. It's going to have all of the slides for you. If you uh, had any questions at all during today's presentation, uh, we will be getting back to you. And for anyone that did respond yes to this poll today, uh, we will have a digital marketing specialist um, that specializes in your area give you a call to schedule that. So let me go ahead here. I'll give everyone just a couple more seconds to find that and engage with the poll. And I will be sharing my direct contact information. So as promised, it's my direct line. If you have any questions, you'd like to reach out to me via phone or my email. Again, be on the lookout since we are going to be having a recording. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time and hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.